So I decided to put electricity to my shed and this is a little sub panel and uh, no label on it. Anyway, that's going to go right there. It's a ground rod. So that's a junction box that can make a, a wire connection from the jacketed cable to the uh, separate cable that goes through the conduit. And this conduit is going to go down underground. It goes down about 20 inches deep. And, and they ran it inside um, underground feed up through the wall here and let's take a look at inside so on the inside the conduit uh, kind of a flexible conduit uh, comes up through here and this is the little sub panel here and let's see where the wires go So the white wire is a 14 gauge that's going to run down to the switch for the light fixtures and the plug-ins. There's a plug-in over here and one over here and then I have three lights in here. There'll be a shop light on this side, a shop light on the other side and then one right down the middle. And this outlet here is for a uh, 240 volt heater that I'll have hanging from that uh, gusset right there. It's very pretty cool when it's all done. Okay, so this is the uh, outside of the shed where the panel's located. You can see the ground wire um, goes down here. There's a ground rod right there. And there's also another one six feet away, right there. And then over here, then they ran that conduit up to a junction box up there. That's where they fished it through the attic. And uh, they ran eight gauge wire. So pretty happy about this, having electricity out there. So here's the shop lights installed. I uh, put uh, pigtails on there and wired them in and so it's easy just to plug them into the receptacle there. And in the middle I actually went with a uh, LED light. Well they're all LED lights but I didn't go with the strip light. I went with a, just a small square one and uh, over here is the other shop light and also uh, I put a cadet heater in uh, hangs down a little bit too far so I'm probably gonna find a new bracket so that it doesn't uh, hang down so low uh, that's a good heater though it, the smallest I could find was a 4000 watt and I used it a few mornings ago and it really kicks out the heat um, and it's got a thermostat on the back so it uh, it regulates the temperature pretty good in here um, so let's take a look here it brightens it up quite a bit in here another thing I did was um, I took this uh, 
cord caddy plug-in strip that was at one time attached to that uh, school cart uh, it's got a long cord on it so I um, basically attached it to my wood rack and the cord kind of runs up up through the back there and out through the wall into the plug-in that's because I I haven't I didn't have any plug-ins put on this side just because uh, uh, I require too much work at this time so eventually I will but at this time this uh, little plug-in strip will work just fine um, so I'm really uh, satisfied with uh, with the project here and uh, thanks for watching appreciate it if you like the video please click like and subscribe thank you very much